are wrapping up our series, Get Organized, with a dilemma almost all travelers have faced one time or another, how to pack a week's worth of clothes into just one carry-on bag. Well, it may sound impossible, but professional organizer Peter Walsh, who wrote the book How to Organize Just About Everything, says it can be done. And it will be done. Peter, welcome back to the show. You're, you're oozing doubt at the moment, I've got to tell you. I'm just not... I want you to prove okay, it can be done. us women wrong. Okay. Renee, Hannah, and I are going, hmm. hmm. So let's get started in the clothes department. Okay, clothes, shoes, toiletries. Let's start up here. Number one, I have to be fair. This can't be done for everyone. Because, for example, if you were going on you know, a business trip or something like that, one carry-on might be a stretch. But let's say it's a week getaway. Okay. Warm climate, here we have. This is what you do. Two bottoms, mm -hmm. three tops, gives you a mix of six outfits right there. The third top is on the that's, table here. That's, that's exactly it. So three two tops, two bottoms, gives you six outfits. By mixing and matching. Exactly. Okay. If Let's say you're at the beach, throw in a swimsuit, maybe a sarong. And that takes up no space. Absolutely none. And then the other thing to do is when you put this in your travel, in your uh, carry-on, instead of folding, try rolling the clothes. Because that takes up far less space and they will not wrinkle. So it's good on two fronts. That's absolutely it. And secondly, you can now get clothes that are wrinkle-free or wrinkle-resistant, number one. And number two, if you go to some websites, for example, travelsmith.com, gives a whole list of the things that you should pack, plus they have a ton of clothing that absolutely fits this criteria. Okay. Okay, so that's clothing. Now shoes, you say pack two pairs. Two pairs that will match with any of these outfits. We have two pair here that will absolutely match up with this here. They don't take up a ton of room. It's safe to choose one in the nude family, one in the black family. That's right. right? Look at you, straight into the shoes. Okay. So, but so. this may not look good on the beach. I mean, these are gorgeous. So, ta-da! For you, right here, a pair of flip-flops. And these also don't take up any room at all. So drop maybe a, a pair of beach shoes or light shoes in as well. That can work. Okay. Now. Handbags take up space. Carry on. Use this as a carry-on and a day bag. And in this, also a jacket, which won't take up a lot of room in the carry-on, plus a book, you know, your travel documents, that kind of thing, all in here. And this then serves both, as I say, as the carry-on and as a day pack. Okay. I say, so that's clothes, shoes, toiletries. Let's see the toiletries. Okay, now, are you becoming a bit of a believer here? I am. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, here we go. The airline set a standard. This is the pack that they would give to you if you were traveling in business class with all of the toiletries that you need. So you can miniaturize. Okay? I have a lot of steps in my whole yeah, I can't, process. I, I can't even imagine the cosmetics here, but let's move on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so all the cosmetics and toiletries that you get come in miniature sizes now, even a baby baby toothpaste right here. Right. Okay, that's okay. key. That saves a lot of space okay. right there. Then and you may travel, for example, with candles, that kind of thing, so you can get those in miniature as well. And even if you're worried about things getting dirty, you can get small packs of cleaning product as well to rinse out clothes. Right, because you are going to be re-wearing re them, as we saw, if it's three tops, you need to kind of That's bring some detergent. It. Okay, now, if, for example, you have specialist cosmetics or toiletries that you can't get in small packs, you can also buy these guys, which are small, sealable uh, bottles, even things for your pills, which also will take up a small amount of room. And then, I love this, you got everything, the, and then label them. Yep. As I say, label, Oops. label, Let me label. put it here. Okay. Oh, now, where did you get all this stuff? This is all container store stuff again. Ah. Easy to use, easy to find. Okay, okay I like that. that. And then finally, Ziploc bags to throw in uh, dirty linen, wet stuff. Keep it separate in your, in your travel on so it won't basically mess up with the other stuff that you're carrying, laundry bags and so on. And finally, make sure that you label your carry-on with uh, you know, a very bright individual label so it's easy to keep track of. Exactly. And we want to just say that everything we just showed yep. in this demonstration actually was brought into our studio That's right. in this bag, which is a carry-on. Well, only half of this bag. So oh, all okay. of this fitted in half of this carry-on. It can be done. More space for more shoes. Peter Walsh, <laughs> great series on getting Thank organized. Thank you so much. It's Thank been a pleasure. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. This is The Early Show on CBS.